Hi, this is Atme with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Friday the 25th of August. Starting off with the FTSE 100, but they were all pattern here as it were in a descending channel from back in February. Bounced off that, uh, created a bit of a bear trap, slight bear trap there for August versus July. So bullish divergence coming in there. That explains why we've had a few good days, but we haven't been able to get back above that old July support there at 7400. And uh, the upside here valid while we're above 7270. If we break back below that, then there's the risk of falling down to as low as 71.50, which is the floor of that February channel. On to the DAX, and uh, here it's a question of uh, holding on to that uptrend. We've got the uh, an uptrend uh, line there from back in December, uh, held on to that just about and held above the 200-day uh, line around 15,400. That's key over the near term, as is trying to break the 50-day moving average currently falling around the 15,900 level. So the market really stuck between those two levels and uh, well, those two moving averages, in fact, and uh, we really need to see this uh, 200 day line accepted as support. So we don't roll over after the summer's double top or triple top, actually, if you include the uh, May peak. Moving on to the Dow and uh, here it's also crunch time in the sense that uh, we are at the floor of that rising trend channel, in this case, an uptrend line there from back in October. So that's around the 34,000 level. We've got the 200 day line at 33,700. So obviously that has to hold RSI in the uh, mid thirties, which uh, does suggest we might have a day or two more of a downside towards testing that 200 day line. Otherwise, an end of day close above the 50 day moving average, the blue line there, 34,600 is needed to get us back on a properly bullish tack. On to uh, the situation at Bitcoin, and uh, here it's been a rather horrible month to date. Uh, here we've got a situation where uh, the market became very oversold with the uh, decline from the 30,000 area, and that's probably uh, ensuring the oversold situation is ensuring that we don't fall any further in the interim. But we still have the problem of trying to hold a, a rising trend channel from the beginning of the year, and uh, we're struggling there at the moment. Top of the channel, they're heading obviously for 33,000, etc., etc. But we need it, we really need an end day close back above the 200 day line to reinstate the bullishness that we've had since the beginning of the year. That 200 day line at 27,400. Otherwise, breaking uh, this week's support could risk a move down towards the June support area, which was just below the 25,000 level. But at the moment, not really seeing worse than that would expect this market to then pick up from the mid 20,000s area. On to uh, the uh, situation with the stocks, starting off with Cleantech Lithium, which had its upgrade this week in terms of the Francisco Basin. We've got neckline resistance there, which we're just above now at uh, 56 pence, above 56, looking at the top of that rising trend channel from back in March, as high as 70 pence. Hopefully that will happen by the end of next month or sooner. Double bounce for the uh, RSI on neutral 50. We have that at the end of last month and also in the last week or so. So that should be a continuation signal to the upside along with the rising 50 and 200 day lines. Hopefully they will be going into a golden cross over the next two to four weeks. Moving along to Empire Metals, which has been uh, one of the stocks of the uh, Last few months uh, progressing very nicely at the moment. Uh, here you can see that the rising trend channel has been there since the end of May. Top of that channel heading for around six and three quarter pence. And uh, while we're above five pence, that broken July resistance line, that is where we're looking for the shares to go. So maybe another penny or two on uh, Empire Metals, at least over the short term. And maybe there'll be much more at a later date. Obviously, we've come up from around one and a half to five pence and uh, the next leg would then be i suppose uh, around a uh, eight or nine pence target ultimately but we're going by the uh, rising trend channel there so uh, looking for six and three quarters hopefully over the next two to four weeks on to uh, hydrogen utopia where uh, the binkowska man effect seems to be working in terms of turning the stock around we've broken a line of resistance there from june that was around five pence the longer we stay about five pence the more we're looking for a target as high as 10 pence by the end of next month, which is the top of a broadening triangle from back in May. If you're cautious, you wait for an end of day close through the 50 day line, currently around 5.8 pence. But uh, with that bullish divergence and the broken wedge 
Looks like the shares are on their way, especially with the RSI now back above 50 for the first time since the beginning of last month. Following on with the stock from Aquas, uh, the one which seems to be going up rather vertically at the moment. Here we've got um, Inteleco, and uh, the guess here was trying to work out where the top of the channel is. It looks as though, as I said before, it's up at uh, 27, 28 pence, and hopefully we'll get that by the end of next month while we remain above the initial August resistance at 13. It's above 13, looking at 27 on Inteleco. Stock which has been in the wars for many months is uh, mode, but uh, rather a better picture at the moment. Uh, here we broke through the 200 day line at the end of last month. We found support at that. We've got a V shaped or U shaped bull flag, as I call it. And uh, the longer we stay above the floor of the channel from uh, back in January to around the 1.1 uh, pence level, the greater the chance of a move up to as high as three and a quarter pence by the end of next month. So it does look as though mode is finally going to give us a lasting turnaround, or at least for a few weeks. On to Premier African, where uh, there was another fundraise, which uh, may have caught some people by surprise or not. Uh, what was interesting is that the fundraise was at right at the bottom of the range, 0.35, and we we're staying, trying to stay above that at the moment. Uh, the message is that while we're above uh, 0.35, still looking for the shares to zigzag within that rising trend channel from June up towards the 200 day line and even perhaps as high as 0.7 as a best case scenario. If you're cautious, you're probably waiting for an end of day close back above the 50 day line, even though we obviously had that bull trap through the 50 day line earlier this month. On to Panthera, which uh, delivered uh, quite a hefty, decent uh, update today, which uh, the market's taken well so far. Massive gap to the upside. Broken that line of resistance there from June around uh, the 7.2 pence level and above that we're looking for up to 10 pence by the end of next month on the basis that there's a rising trend channel there on the daily chart since February. We're now looking at another stock which looks like it may just be turning around after a long time in the doldrums. It's uh, Polarian Imaging. Uh, bullish divergence, i.e. lower low for the second part of uh, August, but RSI staying the same as it was when the shares were higher up, so that's great. Want to see an end of day close through 16 pence. If we can get that, then it could be up to 24 pence as soon as the end of next month. But obviously early days there, uh, but it's maybe one to keep an eye on. Stock which has had a massive uh, rebound over the recent past is uh, Seraphim. And here we've got this lopsided inverted head and shoulders the neckline there is around the uh, 48 pence level so above the 200 day line at 42 pence let's say looking for 48 above 48 best case scenario here would be up to as high as uh, 58 pence by the end of next month and uh, obviously that was a very a very deep inverted head and shoulders about uh, 20 pence deep so if we, if we break uh, 48 then we could be looking to uh, beyond 60 pence as a measured move target. On to the last two. Uh, first one is one which uh, had a well-received uh, RNS today, uh, share water and uh, unfull gap to the upside. It's a bear trap uh, gap reversal from below the March support there at 40 pence. About 40 we're looking for up to uh, the mid 50s, which is the top of that rise, uh, well, that falling trend channel there from back in February. So let's uh, see if Shearwater can step up to the plate. Finishing off with one of the more frustrating stocks on the London market, uh, United Oil & Gas. Here we're just breaking the 50-day line again, so we're hoping that uh, this will be uh, maybe a more definitive move to the upside rather than just the range trade between 1 and 2 pence that we've had before, but at least uh, above that 50-day line, looking for up to 2 pence at the top of that broadening triangle from back in April. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend.